Hello, my name is Philip and this is Four Phrasal Verbs. Now this video is going to be recorded in one long take, which means without any breaks. So if I make a small mistake, please bear with me. Wait, bear with me. That was one of the phrasal verbs in a previous video, but you knew that, right? In today's video, I'm going to be continuing my alphabetical theme and I will be talking about ice over, join in, knuckle down and lighten up. You can see the time that each of those start over here, along with the times of the comment practice and the quick quiz. So if you want to jump to any particular one of those phrasal verbs, you can do so by using Google's, uh, YouTube, sorry, YouTube's uh, chapter dividers or by clicking the uh, quick jump links in the text description. So let's get started. So ice over now ice over is inseparable and intransitive and it is mainly british um, and it's used to talk about to become covered with ice so let's look at my examples jack always drove carefully after it had snowed in case the roads had iced over sally loves to break the ice when the lake ices over so let's look at some uh, real world examples. Here we go. This one is from Ben Knoll with light snow, blah, 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 blah. And then the second sentence, sorry. Frigid temperatures tonight will cause any lingering remaining, lingering water and slush. This is water and ice kind of mixed together to ice over, something to be mindful of tomorrow morning. Now, mindful means to be aware of. All right, next one is from Alex Liggett. The pond is starting to ice over in Herndon VA. I'm still experiencing light to, at times, moderate freezing drizzle. Now, the interesting thing is that I said that, um, that it was mainly British, but in fact, both of these tweets are from Americans, so it's not completely British. Join in. Join in is separable and it can be intransitive or transitive. And it means to participate or to do an activity that other people are already doing. So let's look at my uh, examples. Sally encourages everyone on her team to join in the weekly review meeting. Jack joins in with his clients when doing personal training. Look at some uh, real world examples. Here we go. This one is from Deb. When one of the dogs wants to join in the yoga session. Oh, look at that cute little face. He's saying, come on, I want to do it as well. And then this one is from Lawrence M. Galloway. The MSD, MS, MISD Masterclass Dance is happening right now at Marlin Middle, Middle School, I'm guessing there. It's not too late to join in on the fun. Look at those girls having fun there, doing those stretches. Great job. Right. On to the next one and the next one is to knuckle down now knuckle down is inseparable and intransitive and it means to start working hard especially when you should have done this earlier yes you I'm looking at you we are all guilty of it you know that you should have started that work earlier I'm guilty too all right Sally helps her son knuckle down just before his exams and Jack needs to stay late when his boss tells him to knuckle down and finish the report. All right, let's have a look at uh, some real world examples. This one is from Aeronaut Music. Having spent a good chunk of the weekend recording, new ideas keep coming. New material is coming soon, I promise. As soon as I can, knuckle down in the studio to start working harder. And then the next one for knuckle down, is from uh, Denise Wilton and she says about to knuckle down to writing think I'll make my room all zen with lights and candles too might get some painting in the next few days too kiss 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 all right so well done Denise there she's going to knuckle down and do her writing and then the final one is lighten up lighten up is separable and it can be intransitive and it can be transitive my both my examples are intransitive. And it means to tell someone to relax a little bit more, to be less serious. Um, so, Sally and her friends like to lighten up after finishing their exams. So they finished their exams, they've been very serious, just want to relax a little bit. And Jack really doesn't know how to lighten up, does he? 
Ooh, why so serious? All right, and then some real world examples. Here we go, gotta find these quickly. Here we go, this is from Tayyub Majid. I tend to make a lot of jokes when I'm teaching to lighten up the mood. Really helps students feel welcomed in my opinion. Good job. And then this one is from Clanger Dropper Ortho OTA. What a name. I need to lighten up a bit. So let's have a thread about music. What's the last song or album you downloaded and purchased? And what drew you to it? If something draws you to something, it means it attracts you. So those are the real world examples. Lighten up, baby. Time for the quick quiz. How much do you remember? Time for the comment practice. As always with the comment practice, I would like you to write a long sentence or short paragraph that uses each of the phrasal verbs. If you can find a way of making all of the phrasal verbs into one long story or theme, that would be great, although be but because they're all just alphabetical list, that would be, uh, it might seem a little unnatural. Post them in the comments and I will give you feedback on those um, paragraphs that you wrote. There you go. All right, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. This is a subscription button. If you think my content is useful, please consider subscribing. This is a playlist of some other phrasal verbs that I think you might find interesting. And this is a video that YouTube thinks will be a really interesting video for you based on what you've been watching. And remember, do something every single day to improve your English. See ya.